Hello everyone, I welcome you to today's tutorial video, where we will be dealing with construction animation. Archline XP allows for the simulation, and visual communication of construction schedules. In this video, we will demonstrate building construction simulation, by animating building elements, and how to create presentation videos. Archline XP is a BIM tool, that can also be used for showcasing building construction, allowing for the addition of elements during the construction phase and detecting collisions between elements, in the MEP module. The major advantage of construction animation, is that the animation phases can be linked to the 3D model, with parametric filters. This concept ensures, that the animation is automatically updated, based on the constantly changing design, and scheduling. Let's take a look at what this looks like in practice. We can start the construction animation using the view menu, then selecting construction simulation command. This will bring up the animation bar at the bottom of the window, which we can resize as needed. The animation bar consists of several parts. By default, three rows are created for each new project, which can be modified, deleted, or additional rows can be added. The rows represent activities and are already named, backfilling, brickwork, and drainage. I will rename them and create a new row to get, foundation, walls including exterior walls and interior walls, and finally a roof, which for simplicity will be a flat roof, and will be created with a slab. To rename them, I simply click on the name, and choose the corresponding name from the list, or type in the new name. Let's rename this one to walls, and this one to roof. To add new rows, we can select the activity and insert a new one above or below it from the activity menu, and we can delete it from there as well. I will now insert a new row below this one. Every time a new command is initiated, we are prompted with a safety question, asking if we really want to create the activity. If we answer yes, the activity will be created. Deleting an activity can be done in the same way. By clicking on the specific activity, we can delete it using the Delete Activity option, as I mentioned earlier. The wall construction will consist of two parts, main and interior walls. Each of these will have their own sub-activities, within the wall construction activity. We can access these sub-activities by selecting the wall construction activity, and choosing the insert sub-activity command. Then we confirm the creation, by pressing the yes button. I will create another one, for this I will choose the walls again, then the activity, and the sub-activity insertion command, then I choose yes again. Let's rename the walls, main, and interior. To navigate the animation track, we can use the control plus scroll combination, which allows us to zoom out, and see multiple days or weeks at once. Now, that we have created the activities, let's see how we can set the periods, that is, when each activity starts and ends. We can see the periods here. Some periods are pre-made, but we can also modify them manually. To do this, we just need to click and drag it, with the left mouse button. For example, this activity starts on the 16th, and lasts for one day. We are also be able to adjust the length manually. If we drag the arrow to the right, it now lasts from the 16th to the 17th, and if we click on the small calendar here, we can also modify it, say that it lasts until the 18th. The program will ask, if we need to reschedule the later activities, since for example, the main walls and foundation are currently running in parallel. If we choose yes, it will push these activities one day later. If we choose no, the program will leave the activities in their original schedule. We choose yes, and we can see, that the activities have been pushed back. Let's see, how we can add additional periods. For example, the main walls will now take two days. Then move the interior walls period, so that they don't run in parallel. Interior walls also require multiple periods. I can insert the new periods using the right mouse button with the insert after command, or by choosing it from the period menu. So. I choose the insert after command, so now the wall building will last for 4 days, the main and the interior walls together. However, I want the interior walls to last for 4 days in this case, so I set it manually. We can also split these periods in half. This means that if, for example, the inner walling was built for 4 days, but there was a daybreak between them, I have to split this period, to be able to move them away from each other. So, I right click and choose the split command. If I delete this period here, for example, we can see that the inner walling lasted for 3 days. However, there was a rainy day when the workers could not work, 
so the total duration increased to four days. I am going to move the roof construction to the 25th. I will also divide this period in two, so I can assign different walls to them. We have already created the activity and periods, now we can move on to how we can assign elements to them. First, let's create the elements. Using the building menu, I will create 38 wide walls with the wall tool, and also 10 wide interior walls. Let's say this building is 10 by 10 meters. Now, I will create 10 wide interior walls. Again, using the wall tool, I create some walls here, and here. And that's it. I will also place two slabs, using the command slab by walls. One will be the foundation for the ground floor. I will adjust the 3D view to see it clearly. Then I use the move a copy to other floor command, I will copy it to the first floor, and this will be our flat roof. Let's go back to the ground floor. Let's see how to assign elements. We can do this in two ways, with a filter or by selecting the elements. First, let's see how to use the filter. I will assign the 38 Y walls to the main walls. I select the specific period, and under the command assign items, I choose to add a filter. I have to select the discipline, which will be architectural elements, and then the wall within that. Based on the total thickness, I will specify which walls the program should assign to the activity. So, I select the total thickness, and drag it over here with the arrow. The operation is, to set the total thickness equal to 380 millimeters. I accept it with OK, and we can see that the program marks in red, the walls that have been assigned to the specific period. We are done with the exterior walls. Next, let's do the foundation. I will assign it to the period, using the second method, selecting the elements. I select the slab on the floor plan, choose the period, and then choose the command assign items, add selected items. And we are done. It is important to note that if one period lasts for one day, and other lasts for two to three days, those that last longer will appear slower in the animation. Let's also assign the interior walls to the periods. I select the period, then start the add selected items command. If I select the period and then choose the command, I can specify the walls on the floor plan, and then accept with enter. This way, the program also associates the wall with the period. I select the next period and again choose the command to add items, and I select these walls. And finally for the last period, these walls. The assignment works in 3D as well. I activate the 3D view, select the roof, select the relevant period to which I want to assign the roof, and then choose the add selected items command. So, if I click on this period, we can see that the program marks the element of the period in red. I go back to the floor plan view. We can also delete added elements from the period. Let's see which elements are currently assigned to this period. If I choose the remove selected items command under assign items, I can select the walls that I want to delete from a given period. So, if I switch back now, we can see that these elements are no longer marked in red. I will assign them again. The next option is to add colors to a given activity. We are able to set this here. I set green color for the exterior walls, so these walls will appear in green on the animation. Let's set blue color for the interior walls. Let's check out the animation. The animation will appear in the 3D view, in the perspective we set for the 3D view. So, it's worth choosing an angle that we would like to see the animation from. What we still need to set is the animation line and the date display on the animation bar. This is how we can set the starting point of the animation and whether to display the date. We can determine how long the animation should be, 10 seconds seems perfect for now. I activate the 3D window to view it in a larger scale. I start the animation with the play button. We can see that the outer walls appear in green and the inner walls in blue. There was a one day break, which caused the work to stall, and only then will the rest of the walls appear. Finally, we completed the roof as well. We can also save the animation as an AVI file by clicking on the third icon. This may take a few minutes, depending on the size of the project. Once completed, the animation opens up and we can see what kind of animation we have created.
Let's go back to ArcLine. Let's take a look at the file menu and select export content to XLS file. This gives us an Excel spreadsheet where we can see the activities and periods the same way. The program has created it and we can see the activities and when they occur, in which period. We can modify them here as well. I changed the foundation to last until the 19th, thus changing the period length. I close it. Let's see what the construction animation looks like on a more complex model. You can see that we have already created the activities, filled them with periods, and added elements. We added the parking level elements to the foundation's second period with filters, for example. We can modify the periods at any time. We set the first period until the 16th, but if we change this, all periods will shift by those three days. Let's move the animation timeline back. Set the date and line visibility on the animation timeline, move it to the beginning of the first period, and play the animation. We can see the levels appearing one after the other in the animation, the foundation, the parking levels, the upper levels, and their floors, walls, and openings are created one after the other in the animation. We can also export this to XLS format, where we get the Excel spreadsheet with the activities and periods. We can also export the animation as an AVI file. Let's save this as Hamilton. And then the exporting process begins. As I mentioned, since this is a more complex project, it will take a bit more time than what we saw earlier. But once the animation is complete and opens, it's done. We can play the animation. This concludes today's video. This is a very useful feature that allows us to show the client how a complex building is made up of levels and structures. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope it was helpful for you. Have a great day. Goodbye.